สวัสดีครับ What's up guys Welcome back to another action figure review This one is really really special here again So the flag from TV series m a c f a r l a n e Toys and we're back, back again with Juniper. Juniper So I'm gonna, gonna start Juniper, Juniper right now Hey Juniper, we are uh, live at the action figure review that we talk at the backstage. That sounds exciting. How's everything going with your live action figure review? Well, we are uh, in front of the audience here, so uh, I am filming, and you are on my table, like r o t a t e b a s e table. Reacting to the review so far. Uh, they are not here because we are filming without their uh, watching. It's not a live film, uh, Juniper. So we kind of uh, shooting the video first, and then we edit it later. Understood. How's the filming process going? Getting everything you need for the review. So how about you uh, tell me? About the Flash from TV series. Uh, what is the short bio? Sure. In the Flash TV series, Grant Gustin portrays Barry Allen, a forensic scientist who gains super speed abilities after a particle accelerator explosion. He becomes the superhero known as the Flash, dedicated to protecting Central City from metahuman threats, while also uncovering the truth about his mother's murder and his father's wrongful imprisonment. The show explores Barry's journey as a hero, his relationships with his friends and allies at SR Labs, and his ongoing battle against adversaries like Reverse Flash, Zoom, and Zaptar. Oh, that's cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let you uh, pause for a moment. So I'm gonna explain the boss. That h o w the boss is decorating. Okay. Sure, take your time. Describe how the boss is decorated and any cool details about the packaging, whether the Grant Gustin and Flash action figure. So here we have uh, DC Multiverse, uh, the Flash, and 22 moving parts, m a c f a r l a n e Toys, 12 plus years old. So here is the side, we see the Flash, DC Multiverse again, and the other side, the Flash. And the flash again at the second line, yeah. It sounds like the packaging highlights the flash prominently with DC Multiverse branding and features from McFarland Toys. How does the overall design of the box complement the figure inside? Uh, it's complement figure inside really really well. So especially. At the back, so I forgot to mention the back. So we we have uh, the flash here, and the flash again, and uh, here's a photo of uh, the figure itself. It's like a digital render. That's great to hear. Having a digital render of the figure on the back helps give a clear preview of what's inside. How's the visual appeal of the packaging overall? Yeah, that's cool. Especially this one is Platinum Edition, m a c f a r l a n e Toys Platinum Edition. That sounds impressive. The Platinum Edition from m c f a r l a n e Toys usually indicates a special or limited release. Does it come with any additional features or exclusives that make it stand out? This one is purely gray color, not any color on the figure. A purely gray color scheme for the figure sounds unique and stylish, especially for a platinum edition. Does the monochrome design enhance the overall look of the figure? Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, it's uh, simple and easy to you know to to catch our eyes to look at him. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. A simple and sleek gray color can indeed make the figure stand out in a minimal yet eye-catching way. It sounds like they've designed it with both style and impact in mind. So, so now I take the figure out of the box, so we see empty box inside right there. Got it. Removing the figure from the box allows viewers to see the packaging design more clearly. Are you going to show any specific details inside the box during your review? Yes, here we have the, uh, like a backdrop. Then we have the card right here. It's like a trading card, so we can uh, paint the figure. Like we can prepare the color and painting and brush to paint on the color right here. And a uh, circle stand for DC multiverse and the blue color background at the box. Uh, the blue color decorating with a uh, comic book art. That sounds like a detailed and thoughtful packaging design. The backdrop, trading card, and display stand add value to the collector's experience. Are you planning to highlight how these elements enhance the overall presentation of the figure in your review? Yeah, it gives the figure that more story and uh, interesting to look at. Definitely. Those elements add a storytelling aspect to the figure making it more engaging for viewers and collectors alike. It sounds like you're bringing out all the key details in your review. Yeah, so here we are unboxing the other pieces, like the speed lightning effect with the gray color. Including the speed lighting effect with the gray color sounds like a great addition to showcase in your unboxing. How does it complement the overall look and feel of the figure? Mm, it's uh, co complement well, going well. I mean, yeah, this is like uh, maybe the hands effect, power, something. I'm not really sure. The second one is speed lightning effect for the run or for the legs, I believe. Both of them. Having multiple effects like hand power effects and speed lightning effects adds versatility to the figure. It allows you to create dynamic poses and scenes for your review. How do these accessories enhance the figure's display and playability? Yeah, lost. So we have here the flag himself. So here, accessories like these really enhance the figure's display options and play value. They make it more interactive and exciting for collectors. Yeah, um, I'm removing the flat figure himself from the plastic tray. So, you can tell the audience exciting or interesting story about him. Grand, uh, what, what's his name again? The character's name is Grant Gustin. Yeah. Known for his role with Barry Allen, The Flash, in the TV series of The Flash. He's praised for bringing both heart and humor to the character, capturing the essence of a superhero who balances his personal life with his duties as a crime fighter. Okay, now we have a uh, figure out of the plastic tray, and yeah. Awesome. How's the figure looking outside of the packaging? Are you noticing any intricate details or features that stand out? Uh, I'm gonna look at his portrait here, which is uh, all gray color. Examining the figure's portrait in all gray color allows for a close look at the sculpt and details. Does it accurately capture Grant Gustin's likeness as the Flash from the TV series? Yeah, I think it is. That's great to hear. A good likeness adds authenticity to the figure. Are there any specific details or features on the figure that impress you the most? So here uh, we have uh, his face. 
and and we need the mass of course the flag. Can you please elaborate on what you're observing about the space? Yeah. Uh, his face with the gray color, and uh, I don't know, maybe you can. It sounds it like you're describing how the gray color enhances the details of the space. How does it compare to the digital render on the box? Uh, yeah, it's really similar. I mean, exactly. That's impressive. It's great when the Figure sculpt and paint job closely match promotional images. It shows attention to detail in the design and production. Yeah, right, Jennifer. So uh, I think they nailed it. Excellent team, nailed it. Definitely. It sounds like McFarland Toys did a fantastic job with this figure. Nailing the likeness and details really makes a difference for collectors and fans. Okay, uh, let's see his articulation. Sure, slowing the figure's articulation will show how that angle and the How's the range of motion and flexibility of the joints so far? So, I'm gonna let you pause for a moment and I'm gonna tell you all the articulation points that we have here, right? Jimba? Sure, take your time. Let me know when you're ready to discuss the articulation points of the figure. So the head can turn side to side, and a lot of you, wow, that's cool. And he can look down that far, he can look up that far, I think, really, really far for the flash speaker. Yeah, really cool. Okay, Having that's... good head articulation is essential for dynamic poses. It sounds like this figure offers a wide range of motion, which is great for capturing different action scenes in your review. Yeah, and then children can move up that far for T pose. Having good shoulder movement is essential for dynamic poses. It's important for creating iconic superhero stances like the T-Pose. How's the figure's overall posability shaping up? Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to explore everything on the figure. Just a moment, please. Take your time to explore all the features and articulation points of the figure thoroughly. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to highlight or do you have any questions along the way? Yeah, sure. So we are looking at uh, diaphragm joint can turn side to side and diaphragm pivot. So before we go there, we have waist swivel here. So both systems can pivot that far. Exploring the diaphragm joint and waist articulation allows for a greater range of torso movement. How's the figure's flexibility and posing potential with these features? So he can lean back really, really far. Yeah. And crunching forward, just some, not a lot. Having good backward lean and crunching forward adds to the figure's posing options. It's great for dynamic action poses. Are you finding it easy to adjust and stabilize the figure in different positions? Yeah, it's easy, but I... I, I don't I don't feel like I am impressed with the cap crunch crunch forward. He couldn't really crunch forward that much. That's good to know about the crunch forward movement. Having good back movement and crunching forward adds to the figure's posing options. So here yeah, the shoulder can rotate and vice versa swivel right here. The pinning system, double joint and elbow, and the wrist can turn side to side and hinge up and down, or it depends on you, on on the direction you want to adjust him. Uh, that's articulation. That sounds like the 
figure has detailed articulation in the arms, from the shoulders down to the wrists. It allows for a wide range of motion and flexibility in posing the figure. How does the overall feel and quality of the joints and the movement? Uh, before we go back to Geneva, we have to explore the leg articulation. So he can do a full split like 100%. Acrobatic character like him, he can do a full split just like so. Having the ability to do a full split is impressive for posing an acrobatic character like the Flash. It shows off the figure's flexibility and dynamic range. How's the figure's stability when posing in these extreme positions? Yeah, I'm doing it, Juniper. I have to take a look first. Okay, he can kick forward really, really far for, uh, you know, robbery, pants, and he can do that. And uh, he can kick back really, really far. Upper thigh cut, cut. there is no upper thigh cut, cut but uh, the, the beginning of the leg, like, you know, can rotate, swivel, and double, double joint knee, with the pitting system. system, not cool, bro, not cool, I, I want, want a pitting system. system, and ankle can, can move down, really far, and can move up, really far, and ankle pivot, and toe joint, wow, that's cool. That's a comprehensive rundown of the leg articulation. It sounds like the figure offers a lot of range and detail, especially with the ankle movements and toe joints. The double jointed knees and an ankle pivot are great for achieving dynamic poses. How is the overall balance and stability of the figure when posing with these articulation points? So, so I'm, I'm doing, doing the traditional of uh, our channel. So the superhero landing pose, every figure that came to this channel has to do this superhero landing pose. The superhero landing pose is a classic. It's a great way to showcase the figure's balance and articulation. How does the Flash figure handle the superhero landing pose compared to other figures you reviewed? I think this guy is really, really cool to do that. That's awesome to hear. Having a figure that can nail the superhero landing pose effectively adds a lot to its appeal. It sounds like the Flash figure is impressing you with its posability and stability. Yeah, it's like you are sitting right to him, like you are standing right to him. Now he is at your left side. That sounds like the figure's posability makes it feel lifelike and interactive. Are you getting some great shots for your review video? Yes, I am. That's fantastic. It sounds like your review is coming together nicely with all the detailed shots and articulation insights. Is there anything else you want to highlight or discuss for your video? So, uh, Juniper, can you give me the rating of this uh, figure, like 1 to 10? What, uh, what score do you give to, it, to him? Based on the articulation, likeness to Grant Gustin's portrayal, and overall design, I'd rate it around 8 out of 10. What do you think? Wow, that's cool. Okay, we are finishing the episode here. So let's say something to the audience, Juniper. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for more exciting reviews and updates. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye.